Hey, this is Dave from healthparents.com. If you ever had that problem where you get a really bad smell coming from either your sink drain or your shower drain, we're going to show you how to get rid of that. Uh, to start off, you got to get access to the drain, and so we've already taken the screws out from this. That gets you to the source of the problem. A couple of videos back, we showed you how to replace a sink drain in the tube that comes from the drain to the trap. And in doing so, we also removed the P-trap, uh, the curved part of the drain pipe, uh, and the, the straight section that went into the wall. And in doing so, we found a lot of debris in there and a lot of just accumulated hair and gunk that happens to almost any sink drain. And that's what we're really trying to get at here today. The problem is, is in a sink, it's very easy to get to the trap and remove that and clean that out. The shower drain is a little more difficult, and so we're going to take that on today. Uh, but the process is very, very much the same. What we have here is a sink drain that uh, the smallest inside diameter, you can just take a tape measure and kind of just line it up and look at it. The smallest inside diameter portion of the drain that we have is about one and three quarters inch. So our goal was to find something that we could use uh, to get down in there. Uh, a common way of doing it is taking a paint roller and and soaking it with water, vinegar, baking soda, and the like, and running it in that tube. But we want to go farther than just the straight tube before it gets to the trap. And since we have a, a basement and a finished ceiling below this, uh, we can't get to that trap from below, so we're gonna attack it from inside. We really have a, a two-step process, and our first part of it is to get a, a brush like this, and we're Amazon Affiliates, we'll put a link in the description below to get this. They're a little bit hard to find. This brush is two and a quarter inches across and about five or six inches long. And the most important part is it has a flexible shaft on it so that it'll bend once it goes into that trap area. And we want to try to get it down there as far as we possibly can to get rid of all the, the buildup that is on the inside of the pipe and low into the trap. All right, so the first thing we want to do is take our our cleaning brush and put it down into the pipe and just run it up and down as you go deeper and deeper and what it's doing is just scrubbing the walls of that drain and the further you can get it the better that's the reason we bought such a long brush and one that uh, that has a bigger diameter than the pipe is so that we're getting a good scrub as far down as possible and you can see be careful when you pull this up it splatters everywhere but you can see there's, it's getting way, way deep and bringing up just a ton of gunk. And so we're going to do this a couple times. And uh, it smells, it, and, but that's good news because you know you're going somewhere with it. Let's bring it up slowly when you're done. You can see there's been quite a bit of uh, scrubbing there, and all of that is part of the smell problem. And so we're gonna rinse that out first and uh, then go to step two. All right, before we rinse it out, I'm just gonna scrub on this top section that's wider than the diameter of the brush. All right, so let's rinse this up a bit. All right, now we'll go one more time, same thing. All right, and already you can see that there's a lot less of the gunk than we had the first time, so we're getting a, a pretty good clean out of it. Again, rinse it off. Now we wanna to get to step two, and step two is to uh, deal with stuff that we can't literally, literally reach with this brush. Uh, we're gonna use a mixture of baking soda, which is a great drain cleaner. So we're just gonna do a, a couple spoonfuls of this. Couple scoops of that into the drain. And then we'll follow it up with vinegar. Into that, and you'll hear it fizz right as you pour it in. And 
and we'll just let that fizz and work a while. And we're gonna come back and I'm gonna go get some hot water, not boiling water. Uh, a lot of times you'll, read people, you'll hear people say use boiling water. If you have metal, metal drain pipes, boiling water is fine. But with plastic, we're gonna go a little easy on that. And so we'll uh, just do hot, hot water, but uh, not boiling. All right, so here's the hot water. If you wanna make sure that drain smells and the odor that comes from that uh, is kept at bay, then it's a good idea to do this uh, every three months or so just to stay on top of it. And if you do it regularly, everything should be good. Just for the sake of repetition, we'll go ahead and do that process one more time just real quickly. Well, that's it. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of this, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.